Hey everyone, today's video is a little different for two reasons. I am working with acrylics and I am also not painting a portrait. It's a recreation of the album Art for Letters, the EP that Echolux has just released. You already know a lot of his music from my videos, but this time he has also done vocals for them. You can get the album on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play Music and his YouTube channel. But the best place to get it is Bandcamp, because only there you will also get the instrumental versions and some bonus stuff depending on the price you choose. You can find the links in the video description at the top right of the video or at the end of the video. The song you hear right now is the instrumental version of Barrier and after that you will get a taste of the song Core. But now for the painting. I originally did the album art in Zai and Photoshop and I was going for a very splintery look to match the previous album. To achieve that on a canvas I could have either used oil or acrylics. So far I haven't been the biggest fan of acrylics. Usually I love when colors dry very quickly because you don't have to wait that long to paint another layer. But with acrylics it is really hard for me to get smooth gradients and transitions when I paint a face for example. Unlike with oils the color dries so quickly that blending is a real challenge. Thus in the beginning my plan was just to paint a sketch with acrylic and paint with oil on top since oil is also a very covering medium. But then I realized for this painting I don't even need to create smooth gradients since the single brush stroke should stay visible and form the gradients through half tones. Oil would have made my time more difficult trying to leave the single brush strokes visible when layering them because when they are wet they easily get smudged. Luckily the acrylics were of higher quality and very covering as well thus I just stick with them. I painted the background using single strokes of color and once they dried I added another layer of strokes, trying to create transitions between the single areas. For the mountains in the foreground I used a bold black and created a very sharp edge shape that forms a contrast to the more softer background. Because I didn't want those mountains to be just plain black, but also because my ultramarine was too transparent to be visible on that black ground, I added some white strokes and just covered them with ultramarine afterwards, and defining the shape with black again. With a few brush strokes I added a tiny figure to create another focal point to the mountains peak. In the digital reference I used diagonal lines to form some kind of falling stars association, which for this acrylic painting wasn't that easy as you will see. I used two pieces of cardboard as stencils to make the lines as straight and sharp edged as possible and also paint a clean gradient. Luckily with good acrylics you can paint over any mistakes so I gave the lines more definition afterwards. Last but not least I used some varnish to give the painting a supple gloss. But be careful to use a clean brush or else you will end up like me wiping the varnish off with tissues and trying to fix it as long as you can.
addicted to me. 